So one of the things that we want to do when we start working with exceptions is observe them when we're reading uh, Kotlin documentation. So here's an example. This example is one that we're going to work with some code on in a minute. Um, but the idea here is that uh, what can go wrong when I convert a string to an int? Well, a lot of things actually. Like if I took a, a, a string of text, like Gracie, to try to convert that into an int, that shouldn't work, right? Because it's just a word, you know, it doesn't convert to an int. So um, you'll notice that in, in here, so this is the uh, signature of this method. This indicates that this is there's a two int method on the string class in Kotlin that returns an int. Um, and what you'll see is that it says parses the string as an int number and returns the result, exceptions. So this is what can go wrong. This is what can be thrown by this method when something doesn't work, right? And it says, if the string is not a valid representation of a number, right? So yeah, if I pass just blah, right? If I pass foo, if I pass an empty string, right? Um, those are not valid representations of a number. And so in that case, two string will throw, right? It'll generate an exception. This is absolutely the right thing to do, right? Because you asked it to, you know, you might wonder, well, it could just return zero, right? But no, but zero, there is a valid string representation of zero. So that's really not the right thing to do. So this is a good example of when you can't go on, right? When there's no right answer, when it's not like return some default value, you actually have to throw an exception here because what you want the person who using is using the code to know is that something went wrong. Now, this is also okay because I can catch the exception and do something. So let's say I'm taking input from a form as part of an app and I say enter a number and the user enters foo because they're messing with me then I can catch the exception caused by this method and I can put up a nice error message that says, please enter, the, enter a valid number, right? Um, which is what you would do, right? People make mistakes, right? They're not always trying to mess with you, but. Anyway, so here's an example of this in, in Kotlin doc. And as you explore Kotlin documentation, you will see stuff like this.